During one of Everton's recent searches for a manager, the unpredictable nature of Fahad Moshiri caused increased exasperation within Goodison Park. One day, he would have a certain target and ask for it to be pursued. Progress would be made to deliver the majority shareholders' wish, but, when it came to the point where a button needed to be pushed, Moshiri would unexpectedly change his mind and tack. At first glance, you might think such information was far fetched. But after the last farcical turn in this soap opera, involving a job candidate being interviewed about his interview on live TV, do not doubt. The madcap world of Moshiri, truly, is a masterclass in how not to run a football club. Vitor Pereira was flown into London earlier this week with the expectation he would become Everton's new manager. EWASNT good enough to get the job in 2013 or 2019 but, for some reason, Moshiri, perhaps swayed by an outside influence, felt 2022 was the right time. Everton's fans, however, didnt. Some graffiti was daubed on the walls of Goodison, the image was circulated on social media and fury blazed. Suddenly Moshiri had cold feet, there was no appointment and this rudderless outfit were back to square one. It was remarkable to hear Pereira singing like a canary on Sky Sports News, what a stroke of luck that he just happened to be on the end of a phone for them for a spot of self-promotion, but it would be even more remarkable if Moshiri handed him the reins now. At this juncture, Frank Lampard has become favourite for the role. If he does get it, no doubt there will be some faff on official club channels from Moshiri saying the former Chelsea boss was always the man he wanted. If that happens, treat every word with ridicule. Lampard has been out of work for a year. He has not been in hiding, he has not had some extortionate escape clause, he has not been in a job that would require delicate negotiations. He has been available, itching to get back on the training ground. A club with foresight would have had a deal in place to get Lampard unveiled within 48 hours of Rafa Benitez's dismissal, but no. This is Everton, making it up on the hoof and constantly taking wrong turns down blind alleys. It never used to be this way. The fans are mutinous and chairman Bill Kenwright bore the brunt of it on Saturday. It was desperate to see him confronted, unable to get a word in edgeways as the angry mob jabbered their fury.